Cumberland County Health Department is looking for a new way to tackle opioid addiction. It involves a half a million dollars, and Monique John is talking to the people leading that effort to help people recover from addiction. After a national settlement meant new funding to fight the opioid crisis, the NC Harm Reduction Coalition received $90,000 to address immediate needs. Expanding our uh, syringe exchange program, Narcan distribution, and uh, overdose prevention activities. Now, their focus is on early intervention, and they plan to use some of the new money to help people before they end up in the criminal justice system. For instance, panhandling or low-level criminal activity, people who are committing low-level criminal offenses to support their potential drug habit. The Myrover Reese Fellowship Homes Halfway House says about a third of the people they help annually struggle with opioids. After cuts from the state, Chairman Dixon Sophie says they could really use the money. They've cut our funding from 16 beds for six months down to six beds for 30 days. So that's a significant cut to us and it really limits how many people we can, can have here. In recovery himself, Dixon Sophie says he knows firsthand drug interventions power in uplifting the community. You're able to impact your community, you're able to impact your uh, employment and employer um, and family in, in a way that's really positive. In Fayetteville, Monique John, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.